The information in this video is provided strictly for educational and awareness purposes. Attempting to use these techniques irresponsibly may be illegal and can cause serious harm to individuals, organizations, and yourself. Today's malware is called the process injector, and you will need to know at least what the process and the thread is. So here's a diagram of a single threaded versus a multi-threaded process. For the programming part, open Microsoft Visual Studio, create a new project, include the Windows header file, create a new main function, initialize those two structs, and create a buffer that will hold the payload, which is basically malicious code that we will inject into the process. The shellcode payload that is displayed on screen is not malicious. Now begin the injection by creating a new process. For this example, we will use Notepad. To create the process, you will need the create process A file function, followed by the virtual alloc x function that we will use to allocate some memory inside of Notepad. Then, we will write our shellcode payload in that memory, using the write process memory function, and last but not least, we will use the create remote thread x function to create a thread that will run our shellcode. All of these functions are well documented by Microsoft, so feel free to experiment with them. Now, as you can see, when we run this, Notepad immediately pops up, but it immediately crashes. This happens because the shellcode that I use is actually fake. But the malware itself is 100% functional, so see you in the next one.